Hi, welcome to All Things High Life. I am doing uh, a Shea Glam Foundation review in this video today. So I hope you enjoy it. Bye. Reviewing this foundation today. This is the package it comes in, you know, they came in. One is hydrating. This one I'm holding on my left is hydrating. And the one I'm holding on my right is mattifying. I'm going to be doing a combo of them. I'm going to be using them in combination. That's what I mean, really, when I say I'm going to be doing, a, you know, making a combo out of them. I'm going to be using both of them. And I'm also going to be reviewing both of them today. Um, this is the packaging. And looking, you know, looking at it, one beige, one black. So I absolutely love the packaging already very attractive i think the packaging is smart and attractive and yes so i'm keen to see how the product itself you know um work feels or feet so what is giving <laughs> i'm looking forward to what it actually gives <laughs> okay so let's Get it open. It's, uh, um, and then <clears throat> this is hydrating. So by that, I guess you know if you've got like a an oily skin, um, a dry skin, this will be good for you. And yeah, if you have got a dry, uh, an oily skin, this will be good, good. A dry skin. It will be good for you and then i guess if you've got a very oily skin and this will also be the mattifying one will be good for you and as on also with the with this hydrating foundation i think i don't think this is just meant for someone who's got uh i don't think it's just meant for people who have what do you call it um i don't think it's just meant for people who have um dry skin i think you know if if you're someone who like you know to have that um f fresh kind of like you know um lum luminous type of look you, you know you may not necessarily have a dry skin but you just like your face to look you know like glowy and you know um just sort of like um plumpish sort of you know what i mean yeah, so i don't think it's just meant for people with dry skin i think anyone can really use it if you like to have if you like your face to be a bit um to look hydrated you know as opposed to you know matte dry yeah so yeah so that's that i like the fact that it's coming this you know when you take it out from the actual uh carton package I like that it's got this uh, velvet um, velvet cloth that's you know it's also in which is like that makes it look really sleek you can just put you put that in your in your handbag or makeup uh, purse so that's really nice I like that and it's got this gold detailing at the top you know which is really cute very smart and sleek yeah just you know there you go so that's that and the other one i i guess it's the same uh, right yeah this is so beautiful this is nice so the this is the mattifying one it's, it's a darker shade than that one but and it also comes in this velvet uh, pocket type of cloth to put it in and um, yes for capes and just to keep it neat and tidy so that's really smart and um, so I'm going to now go on this is the mattifying foundation if you're someone who like to obviously if you've got if you've got like uh, if you suffer from excessive oil um oil if your skin is excessively oily in my you know i think you tend to go for something that is mattifying to keep it matte and if you're someone who 
um, just prefer to have that sort of like, um, um, how will I say it, you know, just, you want your makeup to stay on longer, you know, and you probably go for that, or a matte foundation, you want it to last longer, and you probably go for um, a matte foundation for a longer wear. And if you have, if you have a very oily skin, so that's that. So I'm gonna try it now. I'm gonna try it too. I uh, will be using this hydrating one. I'll be using it on my on my uh, T zones, which is the middle of my face, and the mattifying one. No, that's the one I'll be using on my on the middle part of my face because it's oilier. So, and the hydrating one, I'll use this on the other part of my face, the um, external part, outside, like, the external part of my face. So, that's that. I'm going to be using a dry beauty sponge I bought from Pretty Looted Brain, this beauty sponge. So, let's get started. This is the mattifying um complexion pro last long lasting breathable mattifying foundation by shit glam long lasting this is gonna be long lasting what am i looking for when i'm trying this what do they actually say he says meet the shit glam long lasting breathable matte foundation this next level sweat and waterproof formula is free of fragrances and packed with non-pore clogging ingredients so it's non-core clogging while also remaining breathable and lightweight on the skin. Each face loving shade delivers a semi-matte filtered light finish for a look that's flawless yet neutral every time. Wear this long wearing buildable foundation to the gym or for a night out with the girls. It's a complexion perfecting pro no matter where you go. So that's what they told us that would give us. Get ready for skin finish possibilities with our creamy medium coverage foundation. So the hydrating one is medium coverage, and this one. Long lasting with matte foundation is ever sweat for long wear. This is medium. Um, yeah, they are medium coverage. Obviously, also they are beautiful. Um, that's designed to mimic. The natural look of your skin but so in extra hydration and a gorgeous glow see but bye bye to cakey poor clogging foundations of the past this advanced formula is ultra lightweight blendable and breathable for a very free feel so that's that so so yes i do I mean the general perception is that this is this would be good for skins that are oily or you know uh skin that are oily and dry this that's the hydrating foundation no hydrating foundation is for dry skin and oil and yeah while the mattifying one is for dry skin no let's get this right hydrating foundation is for dry skin mattifying foundation is for is for oily skin oily skin yeah so let's get on with this okay when you open, when you take the cover off it's got a pump applicator to it which makes it good and also it means that you don't have to stain your 
your clothes to get it out so i'm gonna use my palette makeup applicator palette to um apply this this is the first the first thing i'm actually going to do now is clean my face um so i got this this was given to me by super drug it's a bio bio biodegradable cleansing facial wipes i was it was given to me free so for sensitive skin so i'm going to use that one to cleanse my face and then the next thing i'll do is get rid of some oh yeah and it's nice and moist without me having to add any you know water or my toning lotion normally if i get wipes i usually so it's it's, it's reasonably moist enough so it's okay so i think all is enough Okay, yes, I think we need some more for that. So, so I think that's, that's that. And I'm going to wait for my face to dry a bit. And then go in with my face cream. You all have seen me use this. This is my regular face cream that I'm using at the moment. So... I need to put my eyebrows in shape because you know I'm killing two birds with one stone with what I'm doing right now. Um, I wonder if that's okay. So what was I doing? Uh, I think my face is dry. I'm going to um, apply the moisturizer, and I'm gonna use this flat top um, brush to apply that. <sighs> Don't really like i try to minimize using my hand to apply things on my face so we're going to use a little i'm going to use this because it's a top i'm gonna just scoop it with the end of one of my makeup brushes so put it there just a little bit and i'm still gonna use I'm gonna be looking down most of the time because my mirror is just here, so pardon me. So, right. I'm gonna use this flat top brush I got from Pretty Little Thing. I'm gonna be using that to apply the my face cream and the reason why I'm doing that is because I want to apply my makeup so try to minimize direct um, contact with my hands I minimize touching my face with my hands you know just i just like to get used to it because when i'm doing clients i don't really like putting my you know face my hands all over their faces i just don't like it i mean each to each one that's just my own personal pre preference so we've done the we've applied the we've applied the face cream the next thing now is for me to I need to make sure it's it's you know gone in very well. Just gonna go over one more time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm feeling it. Yes. Over my lips just to keep it you know 
naturally moist mm -hmm. okay so the next thing i'm gonna do now is apply my primer the primer i'm using i got it from pretty little thing yeah so um it's called instant filler primer prep and perfect from pretty little thing so i'm going to use that now so yeah i'm gonna use my brush but i'm gonna use my palette my makeup palette to apply this Excuse me. Mm. Mm. So I just did that. So I'm gonna just make sure I blend it in very well. That's that. And then my nose, my sister nose, my eyebrow area. So that's that. Let's and put it away I'm just gonna wait a little bit for that to um, dry on just gonna wait for that to for the all the moisturizers to dry on and infuse properly as they dry on um, so put that I also bought correctors from she glam she glam correctors that this is how it comes also nice package nice sleek uh, tube type um, package and the pigment looks really nice that's what i expected really so i'm gonna try it and see if it's uh, pigmented if it's as pigmented as it looks before i went on to if i go on to do the actual foundation i think i bought a foundation brush from Elf that I'm gonna be trying. I've used it already so far. I want to try it again just to see, just for my uh, my second uh, reaction or to it. So I just need to fill my face before that moisturizer is actually. If the moisturizers are dried on, because you know I have to wait for them to dry. And let's wait a little. Let's put that back. Put the high face cream back, and I put this here. So what am I doing next? Is I'm using a, a dry beauty um, sponge I bought from Pretty Little Thing to apply my foundation. I'm going to particularly tell, show you how to use dry beauty um, brush, um, beauty sponge, so that for you to get the best results and you, so that you don't, you, you know, to prevent all those blotches you get, you know, when you use them, you, you know, so yeah, uh, just watch me as I do that. So, um, 
<laughs> yes okay i need to shape my eyebrows they are actually out of shape but they are going out of shape so i'm gonna shape that into place and oh and i've got some ink left there's my face powder normally i use cream but i'm gonna use face powder to get rid of the over the uh, areas i want to shave Right, guys, so this story, you know, I start talking. Yes, sorry, you're gonna expect that now at this stage because I need to sort of like, you know, cool pulse and, you know, get on with it. So you just have to watch at this stage. Enjoy the music. <laughs> I'm doing a product review first, but yes, I still need to put my eyebrows in shape. Where's my spoolie? Good. <laughs> just ignore that password. Just ignore what you're just hearing. It's a movie I watched last night. <laughs>
the best. That's okay. Don't want to take too much off. I'm just do the top here. I think we're good to go now. I've gotten rid of all the facial hair that you know because I really want don't forget I'm doing a look as well. Once I finish doing the foundations as well, I'm gonna do a look. I'm just gonna I'm not just gonna let foundation waste if you know what I mean. So we are done with you know the eyebrow is checked. All the facial hair is gone because you know you need to make sure that that's taken care of for you to have a perfect um you know um finish so, you know to have the perfect look you need to make sure that all the facial hair is has to be there otherwise what will happen is if you put the foundation on it they will just be they will give you know they will just you see them you just see that that's just me anyway. Even if you're doing it with a client, you just have to, you, may, you might need to try them a little bit, but to get rid of their facial hair. You know, so, because it does take, you know, you have to be careful and you can take a little time, but you're trying to be careful. So what do I need to do after that? Just on that, what do I need to apply then? If I have um, what do I normally do? Because I'm at home, like I'm doing it with the client, I do the things I do after that. Just to uh, stop the to prevent the uh ingrowth hairs to keep them to stop them from growing faster so that's that so now i'm going to apply i'm going to use my so i usually get this aftershave i use um all over the face i think it's men that use that mostly but um there's things i use i can make it myself you know to Go over that. Okay, so right, I'm going to apply my. I'm going to use my corrector first. This corrector I got it from She Glam as well. So I'm gonna apply that all over my pigmented area. So I'm gonna just put it on my palette here. And. The packaging is also very nice and smart, sleek, and you know, and smart. So I'm gonna use my for my. I'm going to use this real technique brush I bought to apply the to apply the corrector. This I got it from Mafe Foundation R Pencil Brush. I'm gonna use that to apply the correctors in the areas I want it on it. So oh yes, the pigment is perfect. Oh my gosh, the pigment is really good. You don't need too much of ah you don't need too much at all. Oh my gosh, I love this already. I can tell you off the bat that it is a 
Oh my gosh, you're doing it too much. Oh my gosh. I love it. I'm going to put some more on my forehead as well. That's where I think, and my sideburns. This is where I tend to have hyperpigmentation. And when I want my foundation to blend in, you know, into my skin without giving that uh, uneven skin tone, you know what I'm saying? The color is just bright, it's nice and red, and it's pigmented, which is like my undertone. This red color is my undertone. Oh my gosh, it's really nice. It actually covers. I definitely will be putting it in my makeup kit. You don't need too much, I swear. That's where I have, you know, hyperpigmentation. So, and this is also good if you've got like um, acne spots, you can use it, or blackheads, you can use it to cover it as well. It's not just for hyperpigmentation, by the way, it's for things like blackheads, you know, pimples, you know, things that can just cause, um, that can make your makeup to look. Um, you know, that won't give your makeup that best result you want it to uh, give at the end of the, at the end of applying it. So that's done. I've done with the correctors. Now I just need to make sure I blend it in. So the next stage, the next thing I'm going to now do is actually going to try the foundation as, you know, you know, already I'm, I'm sold by these correctors because it's actually it's pigmented and it covers it covers so this is hydrating so i'm going to use this one for the center of my face it's like i've taken i took too much of that corrector see i still have a lot left so you know definitely for my makeup kits and um, for clients that's definitely going into is is definitely gonna go into the i like beautician kit makeup kit and collection yeah so so and that's that. The next thing I want to do is the foundation review. So I'm gonna use the hydrating one for for the inside. Need to be careful. I'm using a, a dry beauty um, sponge. So for the inside, uh, this is my dry. So the trick with using a damp, a dry beauty a beauty sponge is to actually you know dab it in stage by stage dab it in stage by stage to get the best coverage 
you know work it in stage by stage you know work it in stay by stage by stage before you you know go all over the place With, a, with an with hydrating foundation, it's not so much of a problem, but you still need to work it stage by stage. This is what I find anyway. This is what I've learned, and you need to you see see the difference. There's no patches. There's no patches at all. I'm gonna use that inside. That's not what I wanted to use inside. Hydrating foundation. I'm gonna use it where I have outside. Is the mattifying one that I'm going to use inside in my T zones because you know this day is oilier. Uh, so so yeah so this is you work it stage by stage make sure you blend in each section in very well yeah. and once you are satisfied with it's gone into the skin then you move on to the next area you want to build uh you want to you know blend in you see, you see the difference, you see, because as I use dry beauty um, sponge, it might take a little time, but you know, you want it to come out good, don't you? So, so once you've done that, mm -hmm, see? Oh my gosh, the corrector is. So, I'm going to put a bit more. This is the hydrating foundation that I'm using for well the air well, for the outside of my face. The inside I'm going to use the mattifying foundation because obviously that's the reason I have um I tend to get oilier there. So I've done that side. Now I'm going to
so I'm gonna this is where it's it's quite runny so Perfect. Mm -hmm. Make sure it's gone in very well before you move on to the next stage. I haven't given my brushes. So that's that. See, I'm using the the corrector is covered. See, can't see that I have any eye pad with my finger. I can't get. So what I'm going to do now is use the mattifying foundation, and my teeth are up to be good. But I've used this hydrating one other than that. So nothing spoiled. I'm still gonna use it anyways. I quite like to cake my face, you answer. I like a nice caked face. Okay. So that's the hydrating um, sheet and foundation that I've just applied. Oops. That I've just applied all over my face. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the mattifying one in the middle. So one, I'm going to use that one in the middle of my face. So... <clears throat> So yes, I'm going to use this. Hmm. The hydrating one doesn't have any smell, but I notice this straight away. This mattifying one has 
a tint of as I mean, it's 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 scented it's scented a little bit has a bit of scent to it Because I have, so I'm just going to go over this, my T-zones with this, and my mouth area, and even my chin, I'm surprised I used the hydrating one on, on my chin, but never mind, I'll work with it, I'll just set it with powder, but I know I definitely need the mattifying foundation for the t-zones and it's darker the mattifying foundation is darker than my skin tone but i can work with it because i'm going to use foundation um concealer i'm gonna conceal um i'm also i'm still gonna use concealer so to to brighten it up and give me the my exact and um, work it up to my exact shade if you know what i mean it's got a tint of smell to it just a little bit not a lot it's not too harsh it's got a tint of smell um smell to it which is not too harsh the smell is not too harsh so it's it's okay even if you're sensitive skin i think you can use it this um mattifying one it's the the the, the smell is not too harsh and if you just like foundation that doesn't have you know that is uh scent free yeah it's okay it's not too harsh you can still do you can still use this right i think that's that i'm done with that and now i'm going to set it how do i feel i quite like the foundation it's it's beautiful it's uh it looks like a medium the the the, the hydrating one is running while the mattifying one is not running. If you see, this is the mattifying one and this is the hydrating one. It's runnier than that one. So, but, but both of them are beautiful. They're beautiful. See, this is what it's giving after applying both. You know, I've used the hydrating one around all over the outer part of my face and the, the mattifying one, I've used it in, in the middle just the t-zones and and the beauty sponge is dry i'm using it dry so yeah you know so there we go so that's it let me go down my mouth a bit so that the pigment of the lipstick can really show. Oh, this blends my pigment. So that's that. So that's the difference. The hydrating one is running, while the mattifying one is actually uh, sturdy. And there you go. It's not. Both of them are beautiful. To from medium to uh, full coverage. This is what it's looking like on my face so that's the foundation now my final thoughts on them what do i think i like them 
I really, really actually like them. The packagings are smart. They come in a, in a carton, um, pa they're packaged in, the, in a carton, and then they also have like a, a velvet cloth uh, pocket to put them in for your um, handbags and stuff. So I love it. I'm going to be using it in my. I'm going to put it in High Life Beautician uh, Beauty Kit. So, which is High Life Beautician is my business name, by the way. So, this too, I will be using them. I love it. I love it. I love that it's got this um, pump applicator that you know is coming that pump applicator to keep it keep things nice and neat and clean. Uh, and for the price as well, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I think I bought them for how much? I can't remember. But um, it's not bad. So, so um, it's. I'm going to be putting it in my makeup collection. It's, you know, I'm going to be using it for my clients, you know, um, in combination with other, you know, uh, iron products, brands that will be in my makeup kit. So definitely, I like how it's got, it, I just love the packaging and yeah, I love the packaging. It's smart and very feminine. So that's that. I will also definitely be using the correctors. It's pigmented, and the foundation is the foundation is pigmented. Very, it looks very readable because you know it blends into my skin. It's taken into my skin quite well. Um, uh, I don't know if it's I um, if it's if it oxidizes. I mean, it shouldn't really oxidize because I'm going to set it so. And this is uh, what is given. This is the foundation by itself. Now I'm not going to put the, do the rest of my makeup to show you. Um, yes, I'm going to do the rest of my makeup. So for the foundation, the correctors. This is what I look like after applying the foundation, the correctors, and everything. This is what I'm looking like. Okay. Okay. I didn't even use my my elf foundation brush, but ne never mind. So this is my elf foundation brush. I got it from elf. I didn't use I've used it before and I find that the bristles are a bit prickly. I guess that's why I just kept it. But you know, uh, otherwise I love how it, it's kind of cute, you know, it, it's ha handy, it looks really handy and smart also and portable enough to fit into my makeup um, purse. So, um, but I skipped it because the bristles are a bit, you know, they're kind of prickly and I've got sensitive skin. So yeah, but otherwise, you know. I will I will use it because I've got it and I don't like wasting things but you know maybe not as often as the others but it's it, it's it's good it's good if your skin can adapt to brushes like that I mean I, I, maybe it's maybe it will take time getting used to it. maybe once my skin adapts to it is us after the foundation see I can't see any, it's covered a lot of, the coverage is good. Yeah, the coverage is actually good. You can build it, build it up and it's covered a lot. I can't see any of those, my, even my prickles, you know, the, the black prickles I had, it's covered it up, which is, you know, really good. And, you know, the under my chin, I have some blackheads there and it's, it's all, all covered. So yeah, it's a good it's a good one for like you know regular wear, you know, to work or out and about. So yeah, I love it. So 
you know, around the area, sort of, or even if you if you if you're at home, you can just put it on. You can use it if you're just, if you're at home, just chilling at home. So yeah. So I'm gonna do my eyebrows and um, get on with the rest of the look. Where's my spray? That's the review. I'm gonna go on to do to do the rest of my makeup and that's it.